Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to filter down to specific conversions for Google Ads. So let's say you are creating a Google Ads report and you have, for example, metrics like clicks and impressions and then you want to report on your conversions. And let's say that you have multiple conversion actions. So when you select here conversions, from the system basically from the right hand side you will notice that you get basically all the conversions summarized together you want to filter this scorecard or chart or pie chart or whatever visualization you create to a specific conversion action for example here we want to only showcase this conversion here as an example the two minutes conversion how can we do this so we are going to select our scorecard in this case we are going to go on the right hand side under the setup column we are going to click on add a filter and we're going to create a new filter now i'm going to call this two minutes because that's the conversion that we want to narrow down to and we are going to say here that we want to narrow down and that's essentially the most important uh, thing that you need to do to the segment conversion type name so the dimension you're going to use here for the filter is called segment conversion type name i'm going to put this in the description of the video below and you are going to say here i prefer to use contains just to make sure that even if i do a slight mistake it's not going to be lethal and we're going to say contains two minutes right so this is the name of the conversion we're just going to say that this conversion type name contains two minutes so two underscore means exactly as per the conversion name on google ads we are going to save and voila that's it so it still says conversions here so we're going to hover our mouse and click on the pen next to the metric and we are going to name this two minutes not this strange thing two minutes right and let's say now that we want to have another scorecard that is going to showcase another conversion we're going to do the same thing right so i'm going to duplicate this i'm going to remove the filter basically here and let's say that we want to uh, showcase the visits to contact page so this conversion right here right so this is what we want to showcase so we are going to select our scorecard we are going to add a filter we are going to create a filter we are going to call it here uh, visits to conduct and again as the dimension i'm going to say i want to include the segment conversion type name that contains and then here we are going to say visits to conduct page and we need to select basically and use the name exactly as it is on google ads so contains visits to conduct conduct page and we're going to save and that's it so we're going to change the name also so here we're going to call this visits to conduct page and that's how we can apply a filter for uh, Google Ads conversions in Looker Studio. Now, the same way that you can filter a scorecard, you can filter any other visualization. So for example, let's say that we have a column chart here and this column chart actually showcases, let's say the month and conversions, but we don't want to look at every conversion. We want to look only at, let's say, um the visits to contact page right so by month so what we're going to do now here is we are going to go on the right hand side column under setup we're going to say add the filter and we're going to select the filter we already have it so we're going to select the filter and that's it so now here we can see that uh we only report on the conversion that is called visits to contact page this is a new one that's why we only have data for july so whether you have a, a column chart, a pie chart, a table, or anything else, this is how you can narrow down to specific 
conversions right so remember and i'm going to write it also in the instructions of the video the way to filter down to specific conversions for google ads is to select the dimension segment conversion type name and then from there you give the condition you change also the labeling in the visualization that you selected and you are done that's it i hope that it was useful for you make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel if it was have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one bye everyone